Okay, boys and girls, today we're talking about the Spyderco Spidey Chef. And this has to be probably one of my top favorite knives from Spyderco as a whole. And I think that this blade, whether you're looking to carry it every day or you're looking to carry it whether you're backpacking, uh, going outside on adventures, this is a pretty fantastic blade for all around just EDC and even adventures. So I've mentioned this blade in uh, videos like my top backpacking knives and it certainly made its rounds in EDC uh, rotations. So it's now time to talk about the Spidey Chef and what I think about it and some of its pros and cons. So let's jump right into it. So like I said, this is uh, one of my favorite knives, probably my favorite knife from Spyderco as a whole. And Spyderco does make quite a few cool knives, but this one I think just fits such a weird, unique niche that actually is really ends up being quite useful. So the Spidey Chef is designed to really be kind of like a pocket chef knife in a way, which sounds really weird, but is actually pretty useful, especially if you deal a lot with food or food processing, even to an extent game processing. Um, this is a blade that is going to be very apt for that in its blade shape. It obviously has a very unique style to the blade where it's kind of this weird modified sheep's foot. So it has a very pronounced sheep foot tip, but it also has this very upswept blade. And that is of course to give you leverage. So if you are, you know, chopping or dicing things, you know, you can sit here and rock the blade very easily. And so that's why it was designed that way. And of course, the blade steel that this comes in is heavily designed to complement a life of being exposed to acidic things, salt water, blood, uh, and just different things that you would likely actually uh, come across when you're processing food. Things like blood and acidic juices are definitely things that you would come across. So uh, this is of course LC200N is the blade steel and not only is it actually pretty good for um, processing food but it's also a pretty good blade steel for a kind of use and forget kind of knife where you can you know cut open something or especially opening packages you know or use it in the rain whatever and you can just ultimately forget about the blade because you know that LC200N is super super rust resistant and it's not going to rust up on you it's not going to even really get stained uh, there have been some tests by other YouTubers showing just how stainless uh, this LC200N is when exposed to direct salt water. And uh, yeah, it's a super, super rust resistant steel. Now, like I said, that makes it very nice as a kind of food processing knife, but it also makes it great for an EDC blade because you just don't have to really care or worry about the blade uh, rusting up on you. So aside from that, it is definitely a blade shape and even handle geometry designed primarily for processing food, but also ends up becoming a really great EDC blade, whether you're opening packages like I do a lot with this, of course, this very thin, very fine, full flat grind will slice you know, uh, packages open with great ease. And it also, what I like about the Spidey Chef is given its kind of chef knife aesthetic, it's also a very non-intimidating blade. So when you pull this out in front of other people, you know, this is can be a very high-end knife to carry and to like and to have. But also, you know, when you whip this out, it's not going to have the same stage presence as, say, you know, if you pull out, if you pull out something like this Benchmade uh, 2750 Adamus and it fires hard, you know, it looks like this tactical, beefy kind of, you know, uh, knife that you might that people might think you might use to, you know, stab someone or some stupid idea. You know, this is a very intimidating knife, primarily because of its fast deployment, but, you know, this is a knife that would scare people if you pull it out. This is something that if you pull it out, it really doesn't have the same kind of tactical look to it. It obviously does not have the same, you know, um, spring-driven opening, so it's a lot slower, more controlled, and so if you are looking for something that's more mundane, uh, that still has a high degree of functionality in EDC, I think that the Spidey Chef is a really solid choice. Now, we've talked about a lot about the blade and how it's unintimidating and very useful. Now, moving over to the handles, of course, this is full titanium, and this whole package is pretty lightweight, and that's what I like about it for a backpacking knife. 
but these titanium handles are also pretty comfy. Of course, they are a little bit blocky, and obviously titanium has no give to it, so they're not the most comfortable for extended durations, and I probably would not want to, say, sit there and whittle on a stick with this for 40 minutes, but uh, if I did have to, you know, sharpen up a quick stick to make you know, a skewer for some food, this would definitely do that just fine, and it is pretty comfortable. I think the primary pro to the handles is not so much in their ergonomics, but in the fact that they are super thin. So this whole blade, and I, I wish I had a uh, Benchmade bug out to kind of show, but this whole blade is super thin, similar to the Benchmade bug out in the way that it's just very thin, yet still very robust, and uh, like I said, com comfortable enough to hang on to for a while. Uh, the pot clip doesn't really get in the way, it feels just fine. So the ergonomics are okay, they could definitely be better, but when considering that this is such a thin, slim little blade to throw in your pocket and carry, and the fact that it's also pretty darn lightweight, uh, it's a really hard package to pass up. And so overall, I really enjoy it. I kind of think of this knife as a sleeper EDC blade because no one really suspects it or thinks of it, you know, to be something fantastic. But those who use or have used Spidey Chefs tend to end up really loving them. And I'm definitely in the same camp. I definitely love this one. And for a higher end knife, this is around, you know, 250, 260 bucks. It is a pretty fantastic deal, especially considering the blade steel and the handle materials. Okay, so aside from those points, uh, okay, so aside from those points, that's pretty much all I have to say about this little Spidey Chef. The fit and finish uh, in closing could be a little bit better. Uh, it's overall, the finish is pretty good. The fit, there is a little bit of a rattle in this lanyard um, kind of tube right here, which I'm not even sure really why there is a tube, but that thing rattles a little bit. But uh, overall, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and overall, I really do enjoy this blade. If you can find them, I believe they are discontinued by Spyderco, but there's still quite a few floating about out there, and they are pretty cool blades. And overall, I would definitely recommend picking up a Spyderco Spidey Chef, especially if you're looking for a blade to either take backpacking for food prep, or if you do a lot of food prep with your knives in general. And I understand that everyone's EDC life is different, so... You know, there are some people that maybe they just use their blades for, maybe they just use their blades for, you know, opening packages or something like that. But some of us do actually use our blades quite a bit for opening up food packaging, processing food, cutting up food. And even if you haven't done that with your blade, I think the Spidey Chef is a really good blade. That, so long as you keep reasonably clean and, you know, it's not just like filthy, uh, you know, you can use this as a secondary kind of chef blade or food processing blade. So if you need to cut up some cheese, cut up some meat, cut up something real quick, and this is just sitting in your pocket, it can do that with pretty good ease and definitely works in those regards very well. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say about the Spider Coast Spidey Chef. Love this blade so much. Uh, as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.